friends, this is Lady Flora and I've got some books to show you today. I'm really excited because we're going to do a pond unit, so we're going to be learning all about um, frogs and ducks and lizards and snakes and um, I don't know, everything that lives in the turtles, yeah, turtles too. Um, so just to start off and say that uh, my daughter is five and we're doing uh, kindergarten <laughs> and we're also part of a classical conversations community which is really awesome um, but we like to do other things too and this is one way that we're going to um, explore pond life so this is science I guess sort of a sciencey thing also I should mention that I work four days a week and I have three days off that I get to homeschool and usually two of those days are actually homeschool days and then the third day is either church day or um, CC community day or something like that. Um, CC is classical conversations. Okay so I'll just, I went a little crazy and found everything on the library website that was about the pond. And um, this one is really good. It's just about a really still, peaceful pond and then a whole bunch of ducks land in the middle of it and disrupt everybody. Um, and then it goes back to being still again. And I thought this image was just really peaceful and beautiful. On Duck Pond. And I got this book too. I got when we did our um, Arctic. No, wait, it was our, It was like our hibernation unit. We had a really great book called um, Under the Snow, and so this is the same. Pretty sure this is the same author, um, and it's called Under the Pond. And there's a moose in it, and we don't have moose in Florida, but we do have herons in Florida, so that's exciting. And this one is really cool. This one's going to be about the frog life cycle. Some tadpole to frog. And I really like the illustrations. And there's a lot of like, this is very much like um, a food chain kind of book. So you've got animals eating other animals. <laughs> Uh, which sometimes you want to introduce that to your kids and sometimes you don't. Like it just depends on what you think they're ready for and what you're ready for. And and then this one is a little more just about the pond and all the different seasons that take place on the pond and how it affects all the different animals. Um, so of course there's a lot of like larvae and stuff like that. But there's the red-winged blackbird, which is one of my favorite birds. And there's a frog coming out of a hole. That's really cool. Um, so this one looks really good. It's just called Pond. And I like to get some books that are just really simple picture books. Um, you know, they just are fun and visually interesting. And my daughter can read it and have fun with it and we can incorporate this um, with my son as well, who's uh, about two, we can read these kind of books to him. And then he can be involved too. Um, this is a level one reader, or it says pre-level. I feel like these things are always different. Level one pre I don't know. Anyways, this looks really good. Very sciencey, cool sciencey stuff. It's, it's like a DK book, so um, it's got lots of cool photographs of things happening. And um, ooh, snails too. That's very cool. Um, so this my daughter will probably read. Um, I might read it to her as well. Pond Babies, because we love babies. And uh, this is a very, just a very simple, like, this baby has a shell for hiding. Whose baby is this? It's 
turtles baby. So this one's just really cute and sweet. Um, my daughter will be able to read this to herself. Sometimes I like to get books like this because, you know, even though it might be too easy for my daughter as far as reading level goes, um, she'll read it and then feel really confident that she can just read. It's a good confidence builder. That's, that's how I see it. This book um, I saw on Hannah's Chan uh, Pepper and Pine, and um, which is an amazing channel that you probably already know about, but you should look at it if you don't know. And um, it's just this really cool story about some kids who find a little pond and kind of explore it and watch how it changes throughout the season. So this is a almost, this is a little more dense um, for my five-year-old. But, um, sorry, my plug was about to fall out. But this will be fun to read. Um, and it's really cool, like really beautiful illustrations. This one looked really awesome, and I love the very, very simple illustrations that it has. More of this amazing lily pond, lily pond, lily pad, um, and just like a simple, like each page has one word. I think my daughter will find that very cute and amusing. Um, and it's got hibernation happening in here. This one I'm really excited about. It's called Songs of the Water Boatman and Other Pond Poems. And uh, it's just a book of, of poetry about um, pond creatures. The illustrations are a little, I don't know, intense. There's a lot of bugs, but um, but this looks really, really cool. When we did our Arctic unit, uh, we had a book on penguin poems and it was just really, really delightful. So I love the idea of incorporating poetry into what um, whatever your unit is. And then there's a couple of things that I bought. I try not to buy a lot of stuff. I try to just get everything from the library, but I was very excited about this unit, so I got frog and toad together because I love Arnold Lobel. I also got um, Owl at Home when we did hibernation and just, it's just so cute and sweet and wonderful and cozy and I already love this book. I gave it to my daughter and she's already read all of it I think. I gave it to her in her Easter basket. And I also bought this. <laughs> it's a life cycle of a frog so we get to see the eggs and then the different tadpole stages and then the the frog and part of the reason I got this is because I wanted to do a little make a little pond in a glass bowl with some water for her to play with and these these um, manipulatives <laughs> if you will and um, and some other things I, I had my mom I asked her to pick up like a turtle I think and a and a snake so we'll see what she got and just make like a little pond and do some like chenille stems for the pond grass and do some river rocks in there and um, I need to get some fun foam I think it's called fun foam and make the little lily pads like make some floating lily pads for the frogs to sit on that would be really cool and speaking of lily pads we got these kits which I'm really excited about Grow your own lily pad, which sounds so fun and so awesome. And it comes with three seeds, and they are the seeds for the lotus flower, the lotus plant. So that's really, really cool. I got two kits, and there's going to be a video about that pretty soon, um, probably here ish. Um, so you can check that out if you're interested. I got these from Rainbow Resource, but you could probably also find them on Amazon. I'm sure they're there. There's lots of lily pad kits available. Those are all the things that we are planning to do for our pond unit. Thank you so much for watching. You can subscribe if you want to see more videos and um, 
see updates. You can um, check out my blog, the ladyfloraBlog.wordpress.com, which will be in the link below, in the description below. And you can also find me on Instagram if you're interested in Instagram type stuff. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you go outside and have a sweet and sublime day.